Thank you very much, Johnny. Davey, you've now had a couple months working with uh, Trey Turner up here at the big league level, and obviously his numbers in terms of his, what he's done stealing bases have been pretty impressive. What about him as a base runner has stood out to you in your time working with him? Well, he's blessed with exceptional speed, number one. And not very many guys have that uh, attribute going for them. And then when you put uh, the confidence together along with that, uh, you got a dynamic player, and that's exactly what he is. How have you seen him, uh, his skills in terms of his technique uh, as a base stealer in particular? His technique is fine. I mean, he may do things a little differently than um, some players. My era, when I came along, uh, most guys were spread out wider, had a wider base. Uh, he's lean. Uh, he's fairly tall, seven, six two, rather, or something like that. Uh, but he has a narrow base, and sometimes that can get you a little bit of trouble as far as getting off the push off and drive. We talked a little bit about it. it. It bothered him a couple of times, and then it didn't feel comfortable just right to spread out more. So, you know, that's something that can be ironed out later on in spring training. But uh, uh, right now, he, um, he, he's just he's just one of the most outstanding players in the game right now. There are a lot of players that have speed, maybe not quite Trey's speed, yeah. but they, that doesn't always translate into becoming a, a, a great base runner. What, what are the uh, the particular skills or the intangibles that, that can help turn a guy with that elite speed into an elite base runner? Well, if he goes by the philosophy that I grew up on, it's basically there's, there's an art to base stealing. And what you do, you just don't run and become as successful as he has been on strictly speed. Um, you incorporate reading keys. By that, you read something on the pitcher's body that tells you he's going to first base versus going to home plate. The sooner you can recognize that, the quicker you're going to get out of the box and the better chance you have of being succe uh, successful at stealing the base. So I, I try to incorporate that, you know, with the mental aspect of the game comes into place as far as base runners is concerned. You just don't want to be running blatant. you got to take in the game situation, who's coming up behind you, you know, what do we need at this particular time to attempt to do, what do I need to attempt to do. Um, and uh, he's, he's very good already uh, at just about all phases of base running and, and base dealing, but he's going to get better the more he plays, the more... He's going to suck in a lot of knowledge about base stealing and base running and become one of the best forces in the game. Thanks for the time, Davey. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Johnny, back to you.